Oh my goodness, I am so excited to tour this new exhibit. I've been reading reviews and people are saying that the artwork is beautiful and captivating, mm. almost like it's alive. Mm. Ooh, the painting's alive. Could you stop? We are here supporting a great black artist and this gives you the opportunity to learn more about your roots. Uh, no, okay, I already know. All right, our ancestors were slaves, they got free, then they started a civil rights movement. I'm good. It's the same story over and over again. Are you serious right now? There is so much more to us as a people. Our ancestors paved the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. History is in the past. Okay, I'm black right now. What can history do for me? <laughs> history is the only reason you're even here. You know what? Just have an open mind. Hello everyone, my name is Jade and I will be your tour guide for today for Mr. McLeod's newest exposition. Mr. McLeod is passionate about African American history. He is moved by pivotal moments like Juneteenth which is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery. On June 19th, 1865, the Union General rode in to Gaveston, Texas, which was then the most remote region of the Confederacy, to let the enslaved know that slavery was abolished and that they were free. Two years after that, the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. What? What's, what's going on? Where am I? Take a walk with me. Our determination is a manifestation of our power. Our creativity is an expression of our magic. Our resilience is a call to our ancestors. And our prayers are a dance with spirits. Let us honor them and ourselves. By living our lives to its fullest potential. Let every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring ring with the harmonies of liberty let our rejoicing Straight from
from the places, our God, where we met thee. Lest our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. This will have you. Search the deepest parts of your soul. Um, yeah. We are so focused on seeing how the world perceives us that sometimes we lose focus of ourselves. And we must never do that. We have to use our time and our energy to be whoever we want. And we must use our freedom to do more. Hmm. That's why it's important for us to know our history, to push us to do the things they couldn't. Finally, I found her. Man, you've been staring at this for a while. Are you okay? Still a bit lost for words, but um, yeah, I'm okay. Okay, well, come check this painting out. It's amazing. like effective weapons. Blessing our scars to the stars as if Polaris will provide the ointment. I have an appointment on the 19th of June. It's not too soon to tell. I to be well informed about lynchings. I also want to be well informed about pensions with a pension for success. Our ancestors suffered the storm. Now we're blessed for a reason. Even after June 19th, they made them work through harvest season and beyond. Should have been free. Too many ex-slaves hanging from trees best believe we stay resistant. We stay black. We stay emancipated from way back. Darkness comes to light, my mama say that, so let's celebrate. That fist in the air type of celebrate. That Regina King, Muhammad Ali type of celebrate. That Amiri Baraka type of celebrate, that Stacey Abrams type of mobilize. Mold our lives till we're winning. We writing. We entrepreneurs, we fighting. We aeronautics, we mathematicians, we dope MCs, we technicians. Lifting every voice with conviction. Sounds from the ground up. Turn the sound up and watch our voices lift. Freedom is not a gift, it's a right. And I'll continue to write till everything is all right because everything's not what it seems. Freedom is our young generation chasing dreams, extreme condition with minimal restraint. Your life's a blank canvas. Let the world see you paint. 